Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to tell you how we can create a drop down list from Excel data in Power Apps. By default, whenever you will create a Power Apps app using your Excel data source, then it will uh, the drop down data will come as a simply text box. So I'll show you what are the configuration we can do so that the text box will behave like a drop down list. So I'll take you to the system and we will do step by step from the scratch itself. So now I will show you my Excel first of all. So you can see here this is a Excel file. I have a company's uh, sheet over here and you can see company name location. Okay. Now I have another sheet where location I have defined Bangalore, Hyderabad and Chennai. Now I want here this to come as a drop down. So I'll simply click over here then go to the data tab and data validation and here you can select list and choose this now it will ask you to choose the value so you can see here you can choose like this and then uh, you can go here click on ok so now you will see here you can just track till this much and uh, now you can see i can select the locations here suppose i will select here bangalore then bangalore and then i will select let's say hyderabad and then chennai so now you can uh, select like this now what we will do is to create an app from this excel i will uh, just format this as a table so i'll go to the home tab and then format as table i'll select this as my header and then give the table name so the table name here is let's say i'll say companies okay and uh, the other one also if you'll see here there is a location and the, the table name is also oh i will change this table name here i will give locations okay so i give it this one so if you'll see here both those uh, my excel sheet is ready now i will close this i will just save it and now i'll open this uh, one drive for business because we need to upload it there i hope i gave a name for it I'll go here. I'll try to upload it. You can see companies is the Excel file that that is there. So now we have it. So I'll go to make.powerapps.com and then uh, when we will uh, uh, when we will create an app using this Power Apps Studio. So click over create and then choose Excel and then you select it here the data connection which is one drive for business in my case and i will choose this company so once i select this you can see the okay let me take the table one because that is the i think it i didn't save this uh, table name which is fine so now if you'll see here it will create an app for us you can check one uh, video i'll put the link in the video description where i have explained how we can uh, create an app from uh, excel in power apps so here you can see uh, a browse detail and edit screen i'll quickly go to the edit screen i will show you play it here and show you you can see both the things are uh, text box now i want this location to be uh, a drop down now for this what i will do is first thing is we need to get the data from the second tab which is the location and then uh, click on this data source and then if you'll see here you can just add another data source on this and you can choose one drive for business click over here and then this time i will choose companies and on this location i'll see here click on connect so now we have set here so our second data source is uh, already there so now i'll just select this uh, this one this screen and then what i will do here is click on edit fields so once you click on edit fields this location you can see it here expand it and then the control type select this one allowed values so if you'll do this now it becomes a, uh, a drop down here now when you will select this particular this one you can see here it is saying parent dot allowed values the items but we need to get it from the location uh, data source so what i'll do here is uh, go to the advanced quick to unlock the properties so that you can change it and on this case i will choose my data source here this is so then you can select locations here once you select location uh, you can go here you can check this now the items and the selected value value is where whatever the name or the column name you have given in the excel file 
now if you'll click over here you can see edit in the formula bar and here you see uh, there is uh, the form that we have to change so that uh, it will take the updated value which is the location you can select this so now our app is done so what you can do is you can save it you can give a name for it so for this i'll give uh, a drop down demo and uh, click on save so once you click on save now you can publish it uh, if you want i want to publish it so that i can show you that whenever uh, you will uh, select the values how it is coming or when you are adding an item then how it is coming so now the this has been the app has been saved you can see here publish this version the app has been saved and then i'll go to make.powerapps.com and on this you can see here the drop down menu drop down demo is the app name click over here to play it now you can see here if you click on this you can see and if i'll edit it you can see this is the drop down is coming now close this and then uh, same way if you will if you'll click on uh, plus new button i'll give the name as infosys let's say and then the location is let's say hyderabad i'll give and click on the save now the item will be saved so you can see here infosys if you'll come here edit it the, you can see here hyderabad how it is coming so if you'll open now the onedrive for business the excel file you will see the data will be there saved as well so this is how we can create uh, the power apps uh, in the power apps canvas app a drop down list from an excel i hope you like the video if you want similar kind of video tutorials on power apps sharepoint power platform spfx all these microsoft technologies then subscribe to the channel so that whenever i'll get a new video or i will upload a new video you will get a notification on that thank you and have a nice day